For decades, agent Gerald Marie was one of the most powerful figures in the world of modelling. He's credited with establishing the careers of some of the industry's biggest stars. But now many of those famous models have turned on Marie. In May, we reported explosive allegations by 12 brave women that he'd assaulted them and was a serial rapist. Five months on, the former models have taken their fight for justice to Paris to give testimonies to French prosecutors. Legal action has also been launched against Gerald Marie in the United States. For former top model Carrie Otis, Paris has long been a defining city. First as a fresh-faced 17-year-old, just starting out in the business, and now back, three decades on, making news by revealing some of the modelling industry's darkest secrets. It is really surreal to be back in Paris. Telling prosecutors and the public, her former French agent, Gérald Marie, <laughs> repeatedly raped her when she was just a teenager. It is roughly 30 years ago that this photo was taken of me. Um, this was my first French L cover. I was 17 years old, and at the same time the photo was taken, Gerald Marie had started to sexually assault me. At the time, Gerald Marie was the president of Elite Europe, one of the most successful modeling agencies in the world. Sent from America to Paris to work for Marie, far from home and penniless, Carrie says she found herself completely trapped. I was deeply traumatized. And like a lot of survivors um, of sexual assault, it took me years to be able to process the abuse, uh, let alone to speak about it publicly. So far, seven women who say they are survivors of Gerald Marie's abuse have traveled from all parts of the world to Paris each to give their personal testimony to prosecutors. Did you all meet at the time, or is the first time you're all together? It's the first, first time, time all together. Today. It's absolutely amazing. We met once before on screen. Uh, that was powerful, but this is, I think, we all feel the energy of our experience that we have in common. Shauna, if I can go to you. You were 15, I think, when you met Gerald Marie. I was flown to Paris for the summer. It was May when these former models first shared their very personal experiences with us, all with chillingly similar allegations. And he just kind of pounced on me and he was on top of me and then his tongue was in my mouth and I just didn't know what to do. I just froze. I didn't have any, I didn't have any experience with anyone, I'm sorry. That's okay. It's just really painful to talk about. In Paris, they're reliving their pain, talking out again to encourage other potential sexual assault survivors to come forward. Victims who, unlike themselves, fall within the statute of limitations. According to the women's lawyer, Anne-Claire Lejeune, you know, other victim, uh, to come forward. this is the only real chance to bring criminal charges against Gerald Marie. So there's a lot riding on this press conference. They're waiting for the impact of this press conference and she says that she will be ready to interview Gérald Marie just uh, uh, right after if we get any recent victims. We're sort of in a club that nobody wants to be in. And then of course we are still looking for someone within the statute of limitations to come forward and then we'll have a good case. Laurie Marsden was also an elite model and says she was also attacked by Gérald Marie. Now based in Brisbane, COVID travel restrictions stopped Laurie joining the others in Paris. But she was there on the screen and in spirit. And, like the others, is fighting to abolish the time limit in France in which to report sexual assault. As it stands, 20 years for adults, 30 years for minors. 
Sexual assault is much different from any other kind of assault. It's incredibly personal, and it triggers a lot of intense emotions, fear, shame. Women just don't feel safe. And maybe you should be going on either side. It's a sense of safety, the strength in numbers that has encouraged this group to fight for justice. But if, as it seems, time has robbed them of that chance, Cariotis has found another legal remedy. Under the Child Victims Act of New York City, she has launched a civil lawsuit against Gerald Marie. I was the only one out of this group of survivors who was able to access that. And it was very intimidating and scary because it meant me going out on my own <laughs> against Gerald, um, which took a lot of courage. It was a really hard door to walk through. So I think we all have prayers that that, that has a chance. We shall see. Hmm. I guess the message is strong and clear that for those who are making allegations against Gerald Marie, they're just not going away. He must be feeling rather pursued. Yes, we are pursuing him. So if he feels pursued, that would make sense. Hello, I'm Tara Brown. Thanks for watching 60 Minutes Australia. Subscribe to our channel now for brand new stories and exclusive clips every week. And don't miss out on our Extra Minutes segments and full episodes of 60 Minutes on 9now.com.au and the 9now app.